A query is a set of instructions used for working with data. Creating a query is like asking the database a question. Running a query performs these instructions and provides the answers. The results that a query returns can be sorted, grouped, or filtered. There are several different types of queries. Basic queries can be used to extract useful information from one or more tables in the database, while more advanced queries can be used to manipulate data in tables. On the ribbon, click Create tab, and then in the Queries group, click Query Wizard. In the New Query dialog box, be sure Simple Query Wizard is selected and then press OK. In the wizard, click the table's queries arrow, and then click the student's table under the available fields, click the last name, and then click the add field arrow to move the field to the selected fields list on the right. Double click the first name field to add the field to the selected list. By using add field or by double clicking the field name, add the following fields to the selected fields list in this order. In the wizard, click Next. Click in the what title do you want for your query box. Using your own name, edit as necessary so that the query name is your last name first name 1A all students query. Click Finish. Then select all of the columns, apply best fit, and then save the query. A form is a database object that you can use to enter, edit, or display data from a table or a query. Forms can be used to control access to data by limiting which fields or rows of data are displayed to users. For example, certain users might need to see only certain fields in a table. Providing those users with a form that contains just those fields makes it easier for them to use the database. Open the navigation pane. Drag the right edge of the navigation pane to the right to increase the width of the pane so that all object names display fully. Notice that a table name displays with a datasheet icon, and a query name displays an icon of two overlapping datasheets. On the shortcut menu, click Open to display the table in the object window, and then close the navigation pane to maximize your object window space. Notice that there are 11 fields in the table. On the Create tab, in the Forms group, click Form. At the right side of the status bar. Notice the three buttons. Point to each to display their screen tip. Notice that the Layout view is active, indicating that a form is displayed in Layout view. In the status bar, click Form view in the navigation area, click Next record two times to display the third record. Record for Joey Ingram using your own name. Say the form as your last name first name 1A student form. A report is a database object that is used to organize and display data pulled from tables and queries. You can create a report using the report button, the report wizard button, report design button, and blank report button, depending on the amount of customization desired. You can also create labels using the labels button. After creating a report, you can instantly apply a theme to create a professional look. You can also sort and filter data in a report to display the records to suit your needs. On the ribbon, click the Create tab. In the Reports group, click Report. In the Report, click the Faculty ID field name, and then on the ribbon, under Report Layout Tools, click the Arrange tab. In the Rows and Columns group, click Select Column, and then press Delete. Using the same technique, delete the Rank field. Click the Address field name, and then by using the scroll bar at the bottom of the screen, scroll to the right to display the cell phone field. Be careful not to click in the report. Hold down the shift key, then click the cell phone field name to select all of the fields from address through cell phone.
with the six field names selected, surrounded by a color border. In the rows and columns group, click Select Column, and then press Delete. Scroll to the left and notice that the four remaining fields display within the dotted lines, they are within the margins of the report. Click the campus field name. Hold down Shift, and then click the first name field name to select the first three fields. On the ribbon, under Report Layout Tools, click the Design tab. In the Tools group, click Property Sheet. In the Property Sheet, if necessary, click the Format tab. Click Width, type 1.5 and then press Enter. Close the property sheet. Click the last name field name. On the ribbon, click the Home tab, and then in the Sort and Filter group, click Ascending. At the top of the report, to the right of the green report icon, click anywhere in the title of the report to select the title. On the Home tab, in the Text Formatting group, click the font size arrow, and then click 14. Save your report with your name just as Mike has and then click OK. Then go to the File tab and click Close. This will allow you to continue to work in Access on another database. Press close to exit Access. Now if you haven't done it already, sign up for YouTube and subscribe to Mike's channel Mike's Office. Thanks.